Blue Jackets head coach John Tortorella talking about his team's 4 to nothing loss to the Buffalo Sabres tonight. I'm joined by Jody Shelley right now. And, Jody, uh, again, I was saying before John Tortorella stepped to the podium, look, this is, they did some good things in the game tonight. I mean, it's, it's not the end of the world. It just feels like the end of the world because of where the team sits in the standings. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I mean, bad bounce in the second goal. A couple greasy goals by the, by the um, Buffalo Sabres. You could see their speed. I thought the Blue Jackets played pretty good. 4 nothing. it didn't feel like a 4 nothing game to me, but uh, Blue Jackets had enough opportunities to win this game, and who knows what happens when it's, you know, 1-1, 2-2, that type of game. That's the type of game the Blue Jackets are used to playing here in this homestand. They didn't get in that battle tonight. They didn't give themselves by, by the play of Leonard, the goaltender for the Buffalo Sabres was outstanding. Didn't allow themselves to get in the fight, and they were on the outside all night long, and that's just a tough situation to be in. You gotta get in the fight, you gotta tie the game, you gotta battle back, and the opportunities, the breakaways, the backdoor tap-ins, uh, the rebound chances, you gotta score. So that's really the story. The Blue Jackets played well enough to win, but didn't capitalize on their opportunities, and the Buffalo Sabres, the opportunities they had, they made sure they counted. Yeah, they did, and the puck kind of followed them around all night. You look at the goal that Evander Kane set up there in the third period, and he, he has almost the full breakaway. He takes the shot. Yeah. Corpus Allo makes a save. He's redirecting it to the corner, which you're supposed to do, but it just kind of follows Kane, and he throws it back to the front, and there's a guy standing there. A very impressive play by Kane. That was a strong – you've got to be a strong person to be able to turn and put that puck uh, back towards the net while your momentum is going the other way. Heads up play by him, and, and you can just see that – it was in that instance that no one expected that. I mean, I don't think anyone in the building expected that puck to follow Kane the way it did. But that was the kind of night it was for the Sabres. That's adversity. That's dealing with the momentum. And it just didn't feel like the Blue Jackets grabbed any momentum. There was a small amount of pushes by them, but the momentum seemed to get stomped by the speed or a penalty that was called against the Blue Jackets. So uh, an odd game in a sense, but it felt like the Blue Jackets were in the control of their own destiny for a lot of it. Yeah, and it really was an odd game at the end of the second period. Hartnell gets a five-minute major for the boarding, and then it looks like the Blue Jackets are going to have to kill that off. And what they end up killing off? 20 seconds maybe? Yeah, it was a parade. Was, yeah, it was four on four, then it was four on three. Right. Blue Jackets wound up having two power plays in the midst of that five-minute major that they took, believe it or not. Yeah, that was, was a wild sequence. It was Blue Jackets got five minutes – and then I think the Sabres got six right. with three continuous calls. And, you know, yeah, wild sequence. It was one of those nights. And, uh, you know, Robin Leonard got w out of control there. I thought that was a, a wild point of the game. And it could I was been calling for that rodeo. in the second period. Yeah, me too. Right? Get in there because he has, Short he has a reputation. Yeah. Right? So, but anyway, it doesn't work out tonight, four to nothing. Now it's right back on the road to face a Boston team that they just saw on Tuesday, and that'll be a big, heavy, hard game. And you know, those are the kind of games that we've seen in the last three weeks that they're really up for? Well, they're up for the emotional and the physical games, there's no doubt. But I think the road mentality where it's be patient. John Torrell has kind of brought that into this team. Be patient. Don't force anything. Keep them out of your end and capitalize on your opportunities. Have to take that mindset now into Boston. All right. So that's coming up on Monday night. Blue Jackets in Boston to take on the Bruins. That'll do it for our portion of the Tim Hortons postgame show. It does continue, though, so stay tuned. For Jody Shelley, I'm Bob McElligot, and this is the Scioto Downs Columbus Blue Jackets Radio Network.